Uh, Captain, did you know Drek's secret project was a Blargian snaggle beast? <gasps> it is. I wonder why it wasn't in any of my intel. I was expecting something much less lethal. Insomniac Games' new Ratchet & Clank is the best of both worlds in that it retells the duo's origin story for series newcomers, but also has a ton of new content for old fans. Developers are literally calling it a game based on a movie based on a game, and I'm totally okay with this. Ratchet & Clank, set to launch in spring 2016, is a retelling of the original 2002 PlayStation 2 game, but not quite. The new game more closely follows the plot of the Ratchet & Clank movie, which will be released in April. The film depicts a more detailed, colorful version of how Ratchet met Clank and started their adventures. So it's the film's narrative that serves as the basis for the 2016 Ratchet & Clank game. I hope that makes sense, but just go with it, I promise it's awesome. When Sony announced it was reimagining the first Ratchet & Clank, I bet you thought it meant an HD remaster. That's absolutely not the case. The game may feature familiar areas from the first game, but it's nothing like its predecessor. For one thing, new areas have been added. New levels, whole new planets, new bosses, just a bunch of new stuff borrowed from the world depicted in the film. The world feels richer, more lived in than the original game. Not to say the original wasn't great in and of itself, but this time around we're getting a deeper look at the universe Insomniac has created. But this isn't a movie tie-in game, let that be clear. It's just a more vivid, involved way for players to get to know Ratchet & Clank. Perhaps the best thing about the Ratchet & Clank redo is its weapons and handling. In addition to a handful of brand new weapons, like the Pixelizer, Insomniac Games has brought weapons from the future series, that is, the more recent Ratchet & Clank titles, and added them back into the duo's past. This includes the Combustor and Warmonger, as well as everyone's favorite enemy distracting tool, the Groovatron. And before you can ask, yes, you can make anyone, any enemy, regular grunt or boss, and every NPC dance. What better way to really push the limits of your new gear than with crafting? Ratchet & Clank features the weapon upgrade system from 2013 title into the Nexus that will allow players to unlock some seriously powerful tool abilities. Players can collect materials to add to and beef up their weapons, piling some light RPG elements to Ratchet & Clank's new look. So it's like playing the first Ratchet & Clank with more stuff to do with the smooth, sleek handling of the more recent titles in the series. It's a perfect blend of old and new. Oh, and they're strafing. You can strafe now. Insomniac Games says they've put a lot of work into making the Ratchet & Clank reimagining an entirely new experience, and from what we've seen, that statement's holding up. It feels both familiar and surprising, an entirely new experience from an older, comforting classic.